All right, new game. Easy select screen. The cord doesn't talk. I think I think it does talk. Some uh, long loads. Oh. Ah, it's so bright. Ooh. The world of corn. Use Wazda to look to walk. Use mouse to look around. Oh, there's a oh, there's an ambient setting and audio. Can I turn this up? There's like nothing. It's <laughs> it's like unnerving to have no sound. All right, I guess we're just gonna have nothing. Shoot, do you guys hear anything? Oh, maybe I just turned my headphones down too low. Okay, I hear it now. Okay, cool. Making our way through the cornfields. I have no idea what type of game this is supposed to be. But, uh, I guess we'll figure that out as we go. I don't think it's supposed to be scary in any regard. Kind of seeming that way. Water was that? It's a big donut on a stick. When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Okay. Start collecting stuff. Hey, I'm up on this. Nice. Ah, shucks. You gotta, you gotta shuck that corn. Pause. Okay. Sure. Pretty standard. Oh my god, I'm so lost. I don't know where I am. Now we don't want any children in the cornfield. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> it does. Alright. Oh, it's getting spooky. <gasps> so beautiful. Click the left mouse button to pick up items when the grab icon appears. An English muffin. <gasps> you did a great job picking up that item. New paths opened. Folio. A note. Lazily scribbled. Includes a stock reading and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes. It also says, open the big door. We'll probably say hello. There's 75 notes. Oh god, that's a lot of reading. What the fuck was that? Dude, that's the corn. It's the corn, man. Press E to examine your equipped item for clues on how to use it. English muffin, hard as granite. This muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. Nope, already did that thing again. Guess what's up? Alright, we're gonna have to... Is it actually just getting lost in a cornfield? Hey, you want to move these boxes? Mega oranges. Dude, I want some mega oranges. I 
hype for this. Yeah. I looked it up a long time ago. I bought this game, like, probably last year. At some point. Just... Never played it. I'm so lost. I don't know how to get out of here. I'm assuming we can only carry one thing at a time, so I'm going to take this back and then... Go adventure on. Alright. Doesn't fit there. Oh god. Well maybe you can't hold more than one thing. I don't know. Alright. <gasps> it's not the way. Let's go check out the house again. Well, by checking out the house, I mean this amazing statue. I don't want a statue like that in my house. Hey, more boxes. Supersonic postal service. Nice. Pain in the grass. shovel handle. Okay, so you can't pick up more than one thing at a time. Huh? Interesting. What a crazy, wacky game. Oh, broken shovel handle. Completely useless for shoveling dirt. But helpful if you want to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse, because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you. You'd like to ruin stay. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought of. Hmm? Open the chicken coop door. <gasps> A key. Awesome. I always love when characters hold keys like this in their hands. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. Yeah, they're right. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Okay, we got a nail stuck in a wall. A mediocre rock. Life. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. We got Chauncey the rock. Nice. Good old Chauncey. Okay. Come back for that. Like some sort of rock I could throw to knock those boxes over. Hey, we did it. So smart. So very smart. It's really dark. An invoice or carved wood statue. An invoice for a commission to win statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. Uh, looks like it's 
over hundreds of thousands. That looks like it's, you know, 2.5 million. Okay. Oh, nice hat. It's really dark. A really boring mystery novel. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. The Night Danger, a Mick Murphy mystery. I'd read it. What a silly, wacky guy. Sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Give me... in there? Okay. A fruit crate. Awesome. Rancid corn oil. Here. A bathtub plug. I picked up everything today. An old sink. The sink is now. Okay. Nail clippers. Oh, uh, I mean, we could use these to get the nail out of the thing, I would imagine. Maybe. I mean, that's not how that really works, but who knows with this game. C to crouch and C again to not crouch. <sighs> Unlock the secret door, making it much less secret. Got some fancy soup. Canned gator. Ooh. You guys want some canned gator? Some sugar bagels. <laughs> Cannot read what the green one is. Outer. Outrun super drink. Is that what it is? Some good cola. Ooh. Spooky basements. Okay. Fuse box. Missing a fuse. All right. Well, that's a lovely painting. Latex gloves. It's my kind of basement. Let's go see if we can nail clip this nail. It's too scary. So spooky. Uh oh, can I? Um, put water in that. Hey, we got a rusty nail. And we lost. Okay, so everything's like one use. Okay. What would one do with a rusty nail? Use it as a fuse, of course. Oh, actually, wow, okay. That was a joke, but sure. <laughs> nice. corn oil in the sink. Sure. Uh, is there anything in here? Ooh, radio. Or CD player. Oh, this is probably what we need for the uh, the thing. I picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you. To the barn and the silo. I need that for the door. Go upstairs. Where's that dress so I can push over? <laughs> I'm a master at this game. Yeah, 
fuck that dresser. It's nice that they actually like highlight stuff pretty well, so it's easy to find. You don't have to look at every item from an inch away. Okay, we got a bobby pen. Maybe there's something they want you to pick up. They'll, they'll let you know. All right, what's over here? <gasps> a secret attic. A burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Nice. I'm sure that's a reference to something. I don't understand. What is this game about? Uh, sentient corn. Look at that painting. Got a mallet. Item can be placed here. Okay. Oh, is that a ramen cup? It's a cup of noodles. Yeah, look at them legs. Here, it's got some nice legs. This is that tournament. something there. Can I smash an English muffin with my mallet? wonder what the colors represent on the uh, top. Like this one's green, there's two blue and a purple. Okay. So that's open. I guess we'll go over there. I don't know if we can um, do much more here. Put the corn oil in the sink. We have the sausage grinder. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go check out this place. Become a tower defense game. Hold the shift key to sprint. I've already been doing that. I'm way ahead of you, game. Kind of sad I can't swing the mallet at all. If you're stuck. Remember, press E to examine your equipped items for clues. Oh. Right. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. But remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It's the mallet's greatest weakness. Bobby Pen is extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point, and didn't notice that there was no ink until a few hours later. Pretty dumb. The old CD, an old CD, its label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created, this brand was notoriously expensive, even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music show. Where do you look for muffin? You have two beers and smoke two of them. What do you have left? A big ol' headache. Okay, there's a path leading up that way. I've inspected the, mu uh, the muffin already. It's hard as granite. Hello, any corn here want a muffin? Oh, hey. Book titled, Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities between corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Things 
up here to look at. One half of a diagram. Diagram torn in half contains a very complicated looking equation scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix. It's very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Oh yeah, if you don't have salt, you definitely don't want to eat that. That's... This is bad. This is good. Oh, we got a broom. There's a pile of something or other. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this. But you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way. It's the ghost is currently away on business. Pile of something or other. Yo. Yo, it's me. How do they know to put a picture of me in the game? It's crazy. Get pumped. Ugh. Anything else in here? Or anything at all? Anything going once? Going... Price. Why aren't you lifting weights right now? Who says I'm not? Okay. I don't know how a broom's gonna help us in our current adventures. Yep, it's a nice track. Good so far? It's interesting. Hasn't really been a whole lot to it, but seems solid. I don't know if I can do anything with this. Yeah, we'll use a bobby pin to hot wire. Sweep our worries away. Okay, let's go check out the silo, I guess. I know something we can use to open this lock. Well, bam. Ooh, look at this silo. It's nice. An old telescope. All right, we're just gonna jack that. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently, while varying with varying results. Weathered, tattered blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an arch uh, architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Like, the, why did we build all of this in the middle of it? Cleared pile of cor corn kernels with broom. And we got some pliers. Okay. So came in here for pliers. Puzzle game? Uh, sort of ish. As of right now, it kind of is. Stop pressing Q. I'm not pressing it, game. Get out of here. Oh. Hey, what's going on with you? It's a nice suit you got there. Gloved, severed hand. Oh, I got it. Nice. Oh, I didn't look at the, uh... The needle nose pliers. You saw something in that sausage grinder. You could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. Gloved, severed hand. Severed hand perfectly preserved in that glove. Encases it. It come in handy. If you give yourself a hand, find a way to loosen it, get that glove off, First pun was intended, but not the second. There we go. We probably put this in the sink. Yeah. 
the oil. Very fashionable fedora. Nice. Very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, but you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Charred name tag. Took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. Took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. That's a long time. Okay. I guess we'll go back to the house at this point. Fashionable Fedora Fernando. So maybe, oh, maybe I need to just start mashing Q. Q, 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 Q. I'm just gonna keep pressing that the whole game. things inside the meat grinder. Could be anything. A warped key fob. How did the sausage grinder? Not an ideal place for it. Oh, this looks like it goes up uh, top. This warped key fob could be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. But at first you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. Didn't work. So you set out to find a tool. That'll do the job much better. Okay, we'll take this to the attic. See if the hand goes in the sink. Oh yeah, loosen the glove. Oh, and we're gonna use this for the door too. Once you manage to tear away from the giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it. It's not to start another round of high fives. Wow. That's so sad. Alright, let's uh take the key fob up to the attic. A key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You'll regret your decision immediately. Okay. I mean, there's a car outside, right? Let's just go to the tractor. I didn't think over here before. Uh, I mean, it'd be weird if it went to the tractor, right? It'd be a crazy thought. Hand and CD, I'm pretty sure, go to the uh, the door. Muffin? I still don't know what the muffin does. I hate to run all the way back to see if the CD and the, the hand go to that door. In. The muffin has the key to all of this. It might be. Honestly, might be. Can I take the glove by any chance? Is it done? Okay, it's done. This is the other side of very interesting. Okay. 
take this stuff back. See if uh, anything happens. I don't know what else they can go to. Perfect. I didn't think the key pop went there, but sure. I, I won't complain. <gasps> hey! 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 You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he oh, president right, every time? No, I've actually always been a bit unclear on the election. Oh, we should have really that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Uh, Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. <laughs> Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Nice. It's a lot of corn. Am I high? What the fuck is this game? Exactly. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more a few more months of data. We over bought on food pellets and had to get rid of them somehow, Bob. Boop. Yo, Leviathan, thank you for the 17 months, man. Yeah, I have alert sounds turned off for casual playthroughs. Kind of annoyed me during RE3. The alerts should still show up. They ate a stale pellet. Nice. Yeah, it's Russian, Ted. Tavish Honorary Lobby. With all the stickers. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Hi, right, Ted, don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't on it. Can't host any tours. Moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't, I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified, put it away, idiot. Wow. Yo, what we get? Welcome to blank. The future is blank. A flashy brochure that appears part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Look at that sun, though. <laughs> It's a tell the sun. Oh, this is Ted. Good old Bob. Big 
slug monster. Hello. Oh, I got some more stickers. Hi, it's Ed. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. Marks the spot. The gymnasium. Ooh. Look, we can we can work out now. Got a lot of a lot of weights. Tragedy might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. I'm getting beefy in here. Nice. Nice setup. Triumphant report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol of the facility used to create them. Interesting. Learning so much about corn. Sweaty headbands. Nondescript rock. Yo, we got another rock. A run of the mill rock, with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. We got Chauncey and Mabel. Good old Chauncey and Mabel. daycare. How did I do? Skill one. Oh. We're gonna have a ball. Nice. Oh. The teddy bear. Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear. Says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. His name is Vladdy. According to the tag, looks grumpy. Well, got the bear. Be ready for a great year. We oh can't go up that one. Now let's go check the other side. The West Hook checkpoint blocked off currently. Okay. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for this facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot. You got a good deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. Oh, we got a jumpsuit. A cheap jumpsuit. Made out of a material that looks like a will fall it that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. What is this? This is, uh, this is Mace. Nope, more reading. Envoice for an order of military gray jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original costs. All apparently have the name Mitchell embroidered across the breast and only come in size quadruple XL. The word defective appears a few times in very small print. They got a lot of money. A security station. Oh, 
Oh, snap. Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Reserve power mode activated. Appears to report on the warfare readiness of the subject of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Yo, I want some pizza. Actually, either pizza or some noodles sounds amazing right now. Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff. The robotics room. Okay, we got a lot of stuff in here. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. Cordially tip. Noodle pizza? I mean, it tastes good. An item can be placed here. Okay. You like a keyboard? Turned on the power strip. Oh. Okay. An old computer. Well, I guess I know where that goes. As its name suggests, this computer is old. You get a sense that it could use an upgrade, and then you spend your you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Every model, the Scriptotron contains the innate ability to unable, be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. Hey, tour guidebook. Guidebook of Redacted. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted. 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats. I mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. I also need something. Oh. We can put him here. Looks like we can put the Gripatron. Uh, some sign of some sort. And then something else here. Gonna bring the bear back to life. Oh, there we go. A little chain of notes. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Took a look. I think it will really boost the tour. We'll be happy to know that most. Sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob. Bob, first, you're an idiot. The brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Cordially, Ted. Third, if you're going to make the stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember? As in the same title, jerk. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Cordially, Ted. Wow. I like how they just leave passive, aggressive notes to each other instead of actually talking. What is this? Munial Grotto. Oh, there's some corn up there. Hey. What's going on? It's the... Uh, Looking at stuff here. Oh, look at this painting. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something. Hey, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you? Please? Bob? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings. You self-indulgent... Louise. Laos. Lucy. For God's sake, how many did you order, Cordially Ted? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. Laose. Gotcha. Laose. It's not a word you run across too often. I like this painting, though. It's pretty good. What's going on, Anomaly? Name's Jamis. Welcome in. Cheeseburger wrapper. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on that wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. 
There are, no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Did I read anything about the uh, sweatband? The sweaty headband abused the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for a short period of time. It's not worth the risk. Okay. Well, it's blocked off to level two. Tenants climb the boxes. Nope. Coming up. So you better get this party started. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Ah. Uh, I always wondered that mystery. Shift schedule. The schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They're completely opposite of each other. Wow. You hate to see it. Nope. Oh, misprinted memo. Perfect. Memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted. Contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn. Including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year on the memo, 1983. So it's a secret government research facility. Wow. A Sketcher 3000. Wow, I've always wanted one. Uh, e. Major improvement over the Sketcher 2000. It features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face owing to your fascination with foreheads. Mm -hmm. Nice golden toilets. Oh, is this a sticker? Or a uh, notepad. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Cordially. Dear, dear God, it's a lot of hamburgers. It's a lot of hamburgers. The military backpack. The military backpack can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. All right, well, we need this for the bear. We open the drawer and we got a small screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver, used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It is completely useless for removing screws. It makes a nice ping noise when tapped against the metal railing. Interesting. Oh, he's got some sugar bagels too. Oh man, I want some sugar bagels. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling on the hazmat team every week, moron. Cordially, Ted. Used to probably open Bob's secret storage spot. Wonder where his secret storage spot is. It could be, it could be anywhere. Okay. Well, we have a couple things we can do. Take this back to the bear. Yeah, I know we still need a sign. There's always the painting out here. any of these here. Aha! 
He used the portrait as inspiration for the worst facial sketch in the world. Completely awful. This terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. That's pretty good. I just figured one of the things would work with that. Uh, okay. So we still have the bathroom? The bathroom's blocked up. I don't think there's anything I can interact with there. Um... I don't really remember too many things I could interact- like, spots I could interact with. I almost forget I can crouch. Any crouchy spots? Corn's gone. Uh oh. Corn is gone. It could be anywhere. I didn't even notice all the trash leaning around to his side. It's a nice little detail. It's completely missed. Yeah, that's the life being able to use a golden toilet while eating pizza, burgers, and cups of noodles. I wish I could live that life. Maybe one day. Uh, okay. I don't think there's anything I can interact with over here. So. Yeah, I read the note, but it's what the notes don't go away after you read them. Other than the sticky notes? No, I'll go back and grab it then. What's that painting? <laughs> Can't smell the game? Why? It smells like delicious hamburgers. Alright, let's uh, run, run back over. At least running's fast in this game. Wow, there's a note. Perfect. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble ste steps leading up to two extravagant toilets with and a sink encrusted with gold. The cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. Still need something for here, which looks like a sign. And there's something I need for that to work. For Everids. Bob, you jerk. Put my ramp back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in your stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Okay, so yeah, we need to get to a secret spot, wherever that would be. Get the RAM, I guess, for the computer. New horror game? No, it's not a horror game. Like, this game came out in like 2016 or something. It's like a fun little adventure game. About some crazy corn. 
Uh, secret spot being the. That's where I found the bear. Bob, you lazy buffoon, I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Cordially, Ted. And also, for the thousandth time, why do you even have a daycare? There are no children here. Half wit. Cordially, Ted. Good point. Why, why do they have a daycare? Hoping it'd point me to where the uh, secret spot was, but I didn't. All right, let's go double check the gym. I'm just thinking if the screwdriver she used to open it, then it'd be like something like a grate, perhaps. That's still blocked up. Interact with one of the blocks in the daycare. We can go back and check. check. One of the blocks, you say? Aha. Thank you, guys. It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. You spent a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Yeah. Doesn't lead us anywhere, but... Hmm. I feel like it's gotta be in his office, right? came about. It's about uh, a secret research facility that's all about sentient corn. That's freaking out. I'm a little stumped. Bench presses and interacts. We can double check. Could very well double check. Mm, not seeing it. There is one here. Yo, what's going on, Blair? Give a hand if, uh, sure. And if you point me in the right direction. Yeah, sometimes it's it's a little hard to tell. Most of the time it's pretty obvious, but there's been a couple times where it, uh, been a little deceptive. This game so far, it's 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 very interesting, to say the least. Not quite what I was expecting. It's in the corridors. Okay, so it's like in one of these hallways. Probably where X marks the spot, huh? <laughs> I should have, I should have known. I, I saw that, and completely forgot about it. <laughs> Hiya, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your ram right here. This way it gets less dusty, Bob. All right, we got the ram. Circuit board of ram. Look at all this ram. Has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of ram. I figure that's the most bytes in any bit ram ever. Search for a computer with, for a computer upgrade with it with. Knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. We got seven bytes of RAM. Whoop. Alright, let's go, uh... Let's send the computer. <laughs> yes, that's how it works. Only computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. No, no it is not. Oh. Oh, can we just put this... Oh. 
It's alive. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> Why oh. guys so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. <laughs> All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? Yo, Gag, thank you for the 36 months, man. Let's download more RAM. You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Hey, you want a tracksuit? He squeaks when he walks. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug, what's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! What if you're just gonna be like that? <laughs> oh, right! We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladi does not like it here. I love that he squeaks when he walks. Come on, Vladdy. Is he going to teleport? He's just going to slowly walk his way over here. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't... <laughs> Oh, okay, he does teleport. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming he's just gonna catch up. Alright, go to the showers, it's gonna be open now. Oh my god. Let me stay here while you do your stupid things, idiot. We just follow the red line. Psych. I don't play by the rules. Oh, this is really dark. Oh, all right. Let's play by the rules. Ooh. I keep wanting to jump. Stay on the red path. Ooh, hello. Who has disturbed me? We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Has our servant informed you of your task? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. 
But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? No, likely not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again, and raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. <laughs> Looks like you have something to do, and pure coincidence, a new path is open to you. Head to the West Hook checkpoint. It's a very nice monologue from Princess Christmas Corn. What are these uh, yellow paths lead to? Oh. Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. Ah, <laughs> oh, you drew... A mean stupid. I'm assuming that's the uh, Christmas princess corn. The animation, though, you know it. Only the top quality animations here. There should be one more um, yellow line yeah, right here. See what this leads to. It should be me. It should be me. Surrounded by idiots. Rattle. Underappreciated. Ridiculed. Scorned. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. X is. Ugh. Ridiculous. Hmm. Much better. Some of my best work. Was it saying something? What was I doing? Ah, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests! <laughs> like the little... I'll leave it around at the end every time. You gotta smack something over. Corn Squatch. Hey, Vladdy's still here. Welcome back, Saunders. Ah, idiot! So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? <laughs> I love that he squeaks. <laughs> I want Thor to squeak every time he walks around now. Alright, uh, we go to the West Point check. Mark thing. security what? checkpoint. Why is that Vladi's job? What is Vladi supposed to do? This stupid thing will never work. It is... Huh? Okay. Oh. Now we got, like, everything we need. We can build it. Back suit. Blam. And we got the sweaty headband. Look at that. Perfect. 
We must be joking. That never worked. Oh, well, that though. was still stupid. Uh, uh, back to just having the English muffin, huh? West Hook Central. Hey, look. You opened the door. We did it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Vladdy. Where's Vladdy? I'm so alone. Oh, there he is. Hey, Rob, thank you for the bits, man. Much appreciated. Way. Sub one. Wow. It's Twitch sub access. Submarine access. Oh god. Okay. Stop American garbage. An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Nice. A locked toolbox. You still have to pick this up because you like the, the direction of the grain in the wood, and that gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Nice. We just picked up a whole pallet. Hey, notes. Hiya, Ted. Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful. Bob. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area? Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Cordially, Ted. Fuck the squeaking dude. Okay, so we got an item that can be placed there. Ooh, we got a small key. It's a shame that you don't have small hands. This handling this key would be much easier. Looks like a key for a toolbox lock would be useful. You can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. Hi, it's Ed. Just FYI, I brought the. Ed, hey, can you back off, fat laddie? I'm trying to try to read a note here, buddy. This is a little leg kick. Back up. Uh, I brought the acetylene gas up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn free, of course. Haha. -ha. Bob. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. The day's behind schedule. Stop joyriding with the tractor. Dummy. Totally tight. Okay, let's open some box. Box cutter and a hammer. Now, lots of reason. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think these things. Yeah, I don't. The cheapest box cutter commercially available. This brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. <laughs> Water pipe. Magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. Created by Pete, Games, and Carnival. The design of the loading crane appears to be based off a simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Yo. Love crane games. Great. Water. Vlad is favorite. 
Hey, Ted, I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double, Bob. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had, idiot. Virtually Ted. Wow. A locked cello case. Smash it. Can't smash it, I can't use a box cutter on it. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. Really Ted. Hey, it's Ed. Need this box of knickknacks loaded? Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob. Bob, you sloth, I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself cordially, Ted. Yo, a priceless Fabergé egg. Why you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Bloody does not understand. Well, that's why you're a bear, and I'm the player. Alright. Uh oh, I should read about this. Bob got his hands on these extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy. And bought them in bulk so he could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned that they didn't contain any chocolate. Wow. What's an egg with no chocolate in it? Aya! We get priceless lock. Huh? Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world. But you don't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Can, uh, oh my god. Nuclear fuel rod. Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. What? The vent over here? For reasons only known or known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Yeah, it seems fine. Uh, in there? Oh, boots of boy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah, ah, stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah, ah, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense. How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets, oh! ah! Vladdy has to, oh! ah! can't do this dumb. Ah! Ah! Boy, guys, so many. Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something. Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Twin my Lushy drugs, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. Thanks, so, Vladdy. Now what? Vladdy did not like any part of that experience. Also, new path is open to you. Probably somewhere radioactive. If you guys want a drinking game at home, Drink every time the word stupid or idiot is said. <laughs> On it. Okay. Guess we'll go this way. Can I go up here? No, I can. Okay. Well, let's check here first and maybe climb up the slopes. Bob P. McTavish, Honorary Lobby. Bob, you buffoon. Why is there a lobby here? What happened to the decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hi, it's Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. I think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real money maker. Words fail me, idiot. Cordially, Ted. And stop it with the statues. Cordially, Ted. Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work, so I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Cordially, Ted. Balls, pools, and pest removal. 
Flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Yo, we got a coffee maker. You took this nut because you want to make coffee, but the, you heard coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wish for coffee. It didn't come true. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fill, fulfill all of your low to mid level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. Company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Lobbies, 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 lobbies. Oh, got some more notes. Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Fortunately, Ted. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. It took me a little while, but I got it in the end. Bob. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctor out of a cereal box? Cordially, Ted. Restart nuclear reactor. Book of nuclear reactor maintenance guidelines. It's quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense and the instructions, instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Well, that seems pretty good to me. Room. To be an idiot in there, it would be very bad. Let me stay here in case you do something stupid. Okay. It's nice and yellow. Mm. Initiate installation procedure and start countdown to nuclear explosion. Move quickly. Oh, God. Rod. Oh, it's probably the maze he was talking about. I'm assuming I can't actually fail this. Place fuel rod and containment canister. Now run back and hit the button again before you blow up. Ah! Gotta run for it. Gotta run. Where's the fire? See, I don't know where how to get through here because I don't know where the fire is. I could find the fire. I know where to run away from. Hey! Complete a horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Nice. Oh, I wonder if that was actually timing me. So I said 120 before. I don't wanna. What happens if that fails? Hey, I'm back. Mr. Squeaky Boy. Hey! Facility power status, okay. Awesome. So I guess we can go way back now. Sharp speed run when? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna run up here to see what, if anything, is here. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. Yo, Arctic, what's up? <laughs> the breadfish is here. 
West Hug One. What is this stupid thing? Again with the crawling? Stanya Veselo. Oh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless! No use! No purpose! Just more garbage! Garbage for idiots! Always... No... Garbage... Hope this garbage worth Vladi suffering, but already know the answer! No! Because it's garbage! <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Hey, Vlad is really starting to hate vents. All right, poor Vladdy. You're still not in Valorant? It seems like most people aren't. Is Valorant actually good? I mean, I feel like CSGO type games. It's like that, but with ultimates. Due to communication error, this particular control console is designed to be removable from its base. It was lost approximately 60 times during the facility's existence. Wow. Perfect. Look at that. Initiate hook activation. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. Also, if you want to add another rule to the drinking game, every time he says it's garbage. Hey, this is another rock. Aha. This rock has no idea whether it's a rock, the simile of a rock, or an am amalgamation of many rocks or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. We've got Chauncey, Mabel, and Wallace. Three favoritest rocks. Let me think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Got a wheel. Broke off its door, thanks to a shoddy soldering job done immediately after the facility Christmas party. You could probably find another door to fit it on. It's not this one. I drank everything now. Pizza box is empty. I guess we should check the uh, other side. Real quick. Hey, what do you know that goes through this door? <laughs> I did the doors in like the perfect order. Let's talk to you. Mr. Squeaky. Oh, we need a step ladder. I, don't, I got an English muffin. Is that good enough? That does not sound good. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. Breaking everything won't help you progress. In case that wasn't clear. Hey, we will be a broken gear half. New path is open to you. Head back to the Camino Grotto and down to level 2. Nice. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook to the sky. 
fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Hey, nice. Lock that off, huh? That scared me for a second. Forgot we put this up. Just the purple cabbages. Yeah. They were nice while they lasted. You know, grotto. Okay, yeah, all this power is on. Sweet. Garbage everywhere. Level two. Ooh, it's always fancy. Yo, another lobby. Ten company. Ooh, I want some ten. This time, Bloody told you where he is from. Bloody is from small box, very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Cool. Nice story. Hey. Bob, you stupid dummy. Why you commissioned that artist to make these maps? It's beyond me. They are unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> you are here. Nice. Take me in my house. Got a book. Night danger two. Danger. <laughs> After your unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective struggle to repair a pair of defective pants. That's a nice sequel. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. No more lobbies, idiot. Really dead. Yeah, I want to deal on lobbies. Oh, hey, this is uh, that we saw earlier. Oh, just take the whole water cooler. Damn. You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you're in possession of an entire water cooler. You're too stubborn to put it down, so you're gonna find a use for it, carrying it everywhere you go. You'd even empty out the water. Yo, this thing's heavy. Must be super strong. Yeah, like the strongest person ever. Stupid. Ooh, a red marker. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you don't want to put it back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it. Because you know it looks like. What? Because you know it looks to do that. Okay. Ooh. Welcome to Redacted Land. Theme park and casino construction outline. Very slick looking pr uh, proposal to rework the facility to a high end theme park and casino resort. Has lots of pleasing looking graphs pointing upwards, so you know for sure that's a good idea. Some notable attractions include Vatland, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. I go to Kitchen. My god, Bob, what is this? There's no way any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. Cordially, Ted. Facility recognition security checkpoint. Well, put that there for sure. You need a box and like a plant. Hiya, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome, Bob. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. Initiate. Yeah, oh, I don't have all the stuff. Giving up on the coin's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't. 
opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, the goal of which seeming to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Yeah, <gasps> another rock. Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy and basking in the complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Oh, hey, what's up, corn? Nothing. All right, cool. I got a sturdy box. This is absolutely positively the sturdiest box you'll ever find, except for the one you see immediately after. Pick up this one. You now have what is known as Boxer's Remorse. Oh, no. Here, look at the statue. Oh, my God. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to? Jerk. Cordially, Ted. Hi, right, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. I added one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well, Bob. Yo. So that's a nice statue. Boop. Let's go over here. A lot of cans. A lot of cans. Yo, the cafeteria. My favorite place to be. I need a plant, a plastic plant. Think so many useless things, idiot. You think this particular plastic plant was perfect? Not for the garish pot it was attached to. You have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. How they know I have a hatred for clay pots? How did they possibly know? Hey, there's a, a, a Bob. Where is that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with. Bronco weeks ago. You find him, put him to work. Do yourself a buffoon. Fortunately, Ted. Use the uh, dead guy we found outside. Fernando, that is. Poor Fernando. Locked door can be opened from the kitchen. Yo, hamburger. Three dollars for a hamburger. Steak is four fifty. What? You can get a whole steak for four fifty? It's a hell of a deal. Oh, there's soda. Combo upside salad, popcorn, coffee, cheese, bacon, muffin, French fries, Italian pasta, two fifty. Another hamburger poster. Yeah, I could go for a four dollar and fifty cent steak. Yeah, the squeaks are pretty cute. I need steak every day. Oh, wait, and something else first, okay. The living quarters. Ooh. Pruning shears. Bob bought these to help maintain the large numbers of plants that decorate the facility. The small fact that they were all plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't deter him in the least. Yo, we got a trimmed plastic plant. By freeing this plastic plant from its pot of prison, you managed to trigger a dramatic series of events that led you to obtain a trimmed plastic plant. These events included reaching out to grab a trimmed plastic plant, picking up the trimmed plastic plant your hand, right hand and wondering why you did all of this in the first place. Yep. Wondered all those things. Every last one of them. Yo! Nice treats. Value size. New size. Who cares? They're monkeys. Nice. Gucci treats. <gasps> A box of monkey treats. Bob mistakenly thought the capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyways. Made with real stuff. Maybe. You got a hungry monkey? We got just the thing. This. Hell yeah. <gasps> navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very particular peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has 
more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation... Uh... That word. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. Oh, that, that's a word. Yo, what game we got over here? Prince of Universe? Zoom and enhance. I think that just is Prince of Universe. On the Batari. Nice indoor grill. Oh, we're gonna take a nice shower. Another gold, double gold toilet. Watch out, Mr. Squeaky. Okay, well, we need something else for that. Some barbecues indoors. Uh, people who like $4.50 steaks. Level 3 checkpoint. Okay, guess we're gonna go downstairs. Assistance office. Wow, this is really depressing. Hey, what are you? A coffee trolley. Out of coffee. You have this plastic plant. No. Okay. Well, there's a ball that we need. A medicine ball. Appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into. Aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It's a very poor plan. Falling jumper cables, strange lightning rods, somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Let's read that the stupid corn told me their secret. And Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. Okay, so this is how he dies. That's the thing we found outside, and I guess he electrocuted himself. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, so many notes. Daily Planner. 1988. Final page consists of six appointments. 9 a.m. Do nothing. 11 a.m. Pick up new fedora and glove. Noon. Torture stupid corn for amusement. 3 p.m. Hide to avoid work. 5.45. Torture corn. 6 p.m. Initiate master plan. Hey, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so I may be able to do that. No time flat. Fernando, you cretin. Ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort samples the genetics lab from the least reactive to most. So go do it. Cordially, Ted. Hey, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. Need than that. Need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding already set up, so you'll finish it in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf. Don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior and their habitat for several days. Cordially, Ted. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set up that, would you? Please? Thanks, Bob. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen draft. Use this pen draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Book titled, The One Second Assistant. A killer book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be... appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. Nice. All right, well, we got the medicine ball, so we can go back upstairs. Oh, so he gets stuck somewhere. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, he's down there. What? Why is he down there? <laughs> Laddie, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? <laughs> this man's out of the map. Hell no. Medicine ball, you could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but that would require a grasp of logic that you don't really have. Alright, well, he'll teleport eventually, I guess. I'm just squeaking away. Place the medicine ball on the workbench. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Use the marker to draw the worst face in the world. It appears you took dress and, uh, drawing lessons from a leather couch. Hey. Get him go. A little 
hair. Hey. Oh, yeah. Teleport. Press the button. Beautiful. This is living quarters. Oh, look at this room. Oh. That does not sound good. No. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just... Ow! No! What's up, boy? Or get him some new age! Get him, bloody. Chief! Biting is cheating. I win by default. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha 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 And I am most certainly not retreating. Ha <laughs> You know, this place is filled with idiots. <laughs> so, that happened. I was hoping he'd come back in and knock the statue over. He's knocked stuff over in the last few. That's a nice, nice little room. Head's journal. Written entirely in blue pen and perfectly sized paragraphs. The most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness at his own project, an experimental AI program. Couldn't get funded. Oh, that's so sad. Concerned lab report. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject. Famed female Ruby Queen corn. Much more concerning than that. Than the last one. It uses phrases like, can't be controlled. Corn follow her. And much too British. Recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Yo, Purple Panda, thank you so much for the four months. Appreciate it. Still got this muffin. <gasps> A unicorn candle holder. Candle holder, carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. Fell to its death immediately after it was created. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> Jar of Ronka. Cheap knockoff of a well-known decaf coffee brand. Ronka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. The only thing that the facility's coffee trolley delivers. Oh, okay. We got coffee, so we can go back to that little bot. Vibes. Nice. off. Oh, we're in the kitchen now? Sweet. Hey, we got the step ladder. Nice. You vaguely remember a ladder you spotted earlier in West Hook 2 that you could access with the help of the step ladder. You note that your observation happened either a few moments ago or several centuries ago. So you have little to no concept in your time. Missed a note. What? Oh. <laughs> Alright. An, an autobiographical play about the story of an albino corn stalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems and the uh, choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. Some nice mustard in a can. Delicious. Yo, trash bag. A bag filled with garbage. Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage filled bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you. Always. Framed popcorn ad. Professor Poppycorn. 
Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. Bob was so enamored with his popcorn brand and its mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertisements and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by staff. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn, so stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. Wow. Ted's such a nice guy, isn't he? Yo, some glue? Ooh. If you ask nicely, Vladdy can fix the door back to level one. If you don't like it, he'll do it. Figure out this clue may come in useful at some point. Once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulder. I said, just to let you know, I spilled some soda. I spilled soda on some of your things, put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious, just some old moldy photos and papers in your Borton pile. Sorry, Bob. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordially. We got a lot of wine down here. Okay, so we can fix the door back to level one. Just mean to fix the door. Something break. Oh, this door? Good. Why does Vladdy oh. have to fixing everything? I didn't when know is it idiot's turn? Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop? Stupid American garbage built by idiots. Right. Let's run on through to the other side. If only we could jump. Bing, bada boop. Now you can reach the ladder. Nice. Perfect. Oh, we're back outside. Climbed ladder. Vladdy follows you somehow. Alright. Back to the corn maze. Runoff control. A full jug and a rusty wheel. In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what a purpose could be. Afterwards, you will forget you have it. Okay. So, uh, what? I... Looks like fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of the liquid inside to confirm your theory and what it was, and you were right. The men living here look very bored. Security quarters, huh? The massive book of crossword puzzles. One of many reports written by the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variations on the phrase, nothing to report. It also contains a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers the tens of thousands. It's a lot of puzzles. More puns. Whoa, look at all this pizza. So much pizza. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while to sit, clear mind, and ponder on the meaning of all things. You'll never do this, not once, in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will wonder why you're wearing a chair as a hat. 
Pizza flyer. Viva la pizza. Flyer for a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequent, frequented often by facility staff. Includes a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza. Which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. Oh, I would order that every day. Are you kidding me? Free if you can finish 20 minutes or less. He's speed running the pizza. More stupid garbage, idiot. I've ever tried some of the escape room games. I've tried some like flash escape room games in the, ba in the past, but nothing too recent. I know there's some like VR uh, escape room games and stuff, but maybe we'll get around to them at some point. Syringe is something that you could use to get rid of the chemical liquid that fills the pool. Here's a hint. It doesn't involve throwing it in the pool itself. Okay. Can I use this on the, uh, the runoff? Use wrench to drain chemical runoff pool. Smell remains. Awesome. Alright, what's this way? That's where the pool is. Bloody glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Contains hazardous chemicals. Please do not work within 50 miles without protective wear. Seems safe. Hey, we got a toolbox key. There's a toolbox near that strange spire that this key would fit perfectly into. You can manage to stop dropping it on every third step you take. A life preserver too. You like the exotic red and white pattern of this interesting item, which is why you picked it up. It never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water. So you just wear it like a bracelet. You don't just walk. You there, sir! This needs some repairs! Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it mm. do again? Goes places! All oh, right, yes, I remember. So junk. Tractor somewhat prepped. Needs another item to be full ready. Got some craft glue. Uh, broken half. Craft. Push muffin. All right now. Um. What's that sign say? Tea party in progress. What? I want to go to the tea party. Yeah, so we've been here before. Let's see if there's anything changed, though. Out of curiosity. It's fine. Nobody invites me to tea parties. Oh, yeah, for those that didn't see you weren't here earlier, they put a, a picture of me into the game. It's pretty cool. You know, just uh, get yourself in a video game like this. Body was just gone. Oh. It's very important, Vladimir. He thinks. really doesn't and look that too man good, does he? No, not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Very likely. It might have something to do with all that lightning that coursed through his body. 
and that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. I really hated that man. Oh yes, very much. Good riddance. Yeah, I can't upload um the sleepy cabbage until Twitch clears the old blood comfy. It's just taking up an emote slot. <gasps> WT40. Why does Vladdy have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid garbage? Best compound to make engine parts squeaky clean and rust free. But the worst thing to put on a salad is garnish. Luckily, you don't know what a salad is, so they're not going to make that mistake. Yeah, what's a salad? A, a salad? Two salads, please. Prep tractor, it's ready to go. Yes, of course. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. Go, Vladdy, go. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh, okay. Stupid thing. So bad. <laughs> ah! Go, stupid thing, go! Ha <laughs> ha! This is good. Ah, this is. Uh oh. No. Bloody. Everything oh. under control. Why you so drunk? Stupid thing, go that way. Go oh, that way. Ah. So that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. A new path has been smashed open for you. Yeah, I have a support ticket in the partner help, but we'll see. It's a very strange thing, for sure. The tea party, no. All oh, the tea. I even brought my own English muffin. Vladdy thought this place had no purpose, but that was wrong. It does. It is to destroy Vladdy. No. Everything here was made to make Vladdy suffer. And you are worst of all. You killed my uncle. I'm right here. Oh, that's right. We're not helping you anymore. You're mean because of the whole running a lot of us over business. You could have asked first. And nicely. Jerk. There is absolutely nothing that will make us change our mind. Nothing at all. Nope. Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, yes. At our favorite spot. That could work. But nothing else. Idiot plants. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. Almost all paths have been closed to you, in case it wasn't obvious. Well, wow. It's not, I mean, it's ripped for now. Um, just because I can't actually delete. One of the old, uh, like, April Fool's emotes I had. 
So once I can delete that, um, I'll be back. Oh, we can finally go over here. Nice. Yeah, to be fixed. Go the boom box. These boom boxes were strategically placed around the facility to improve morale. Coincidentally, uh, that same week the entire staff ended up in the infirmary for hearing related issues. very pointed letter which was very pointedly discarded in this general area appears to be written by a scientist working in the facility and it addresses the two founders calling into question their management skills budgeting acumen and general intelligence it's signed at the bottom in orange pen only the first name is visible Helen <gasps> mysterious Helen and a familiar gear half one small path has been opened for you nice amazingly this piece of gear matches up perfectly with the one you carry in your possession. What are the odds? I don't know. Like 100% or something? Alright, let's this way. Oh. Placing down the boom box. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path is open to you. Okay. Some real rad tunes. I noticed this a second ago, but I couldn't find it. If you guys look really closely, you can see the shadow of the glue I'm holding. Like, just <laughs> it's very weird, like right there. It's so tiny for some reason. Yeah. Like, you're just facing the right way. It's, like, really tiny. Uh, okay. I'm going... Oh! Probably have the, the water open now. I'm like, where we start the game. Going all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, this is where we start the game, right here. <gasps> so beautiful. What'd you do, Vladdy? Stupid thing did job. Next time, you drive! So, what dumb thing is next? Propane tank. Bye forever. That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? You know, it's miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hits Vladdy! Oh. I feel like he needs a nap. Vladdy is wondering why he decided to help you. But if you get into the boat, he'll still follow. Feel bad for the guy. He's just trying to live his best squeaky life. Just make sure 
sure I don't miss anything. Alright, Vladdy, let's go get the propane. Oh, we ended up in the submarine bay. Okay, interesting. Item on secondary crane console. Uh, sure. But I don't, I don't understand what's happening right now. So that's held down the whole time. Oh. That was very stupid. I don't understand how to use this. Oh, I, oh, I, okay. of what I actually need to be. Yo, creep with the raid. Coming in for the best part. The crane game. Alright. What's going on, man? Hope you had a good stream. Oh, I actually take it all the way back to... Are you kidding me? Okay. That's not that far. for Resident Evil. Yep, it is indeed. How'd you know? That seems safe. Yeah, welcome everybody to Maze. We got a, a squeaky bear named Vladdy with us. Sorry, he's a real cutie. Okay, we want to painting. Oh, perfect. Oh. Uh, weld this together. That's how welding works. Gear, the gear is repaired, which is a bit of an ordeal, to be fair. I remember how to fix the security door. He's hoping we never, ever ask him. Right. Let's see what our thing is. You do not reflect too much on your monumental achievement repairing the gear, because you're too busy wondering what happened to the two ha two gear halves you had. All right. What? Vladdy uh, already fixed, stupid door. If I spay on Pismio, stupid idiot makes Vlad into everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Idiot should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! Stupid virus suffering all this. Oh! Ah! Put some boy! Get on your face, Alu! You tap your loop, loo! Vladdy had enough! You stupid, dumb, idiot, American garbage! You. Hey, Vladdy did it. Of course that work! Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is. An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid. <sighs> now what we do, stupid. So again, if you guys are just joining us, we have a uh, little drinking game going on. Every time this game says stupid or idiot, take a drink. So you get real hydrated by drinking some water. Uh, what do I need this gear for, actually? No, it's probably going to lead me in the right direction. squeaks every time he takes a step. Alright, uh... 
Oh, we probably take the okay. We probably take the gear back over here. Somehow, oh. Aha. I knew I could do it. That's really bright. Great, we did it. Why did we do this? It's a good question. Oh, no, what now? Hello. Good to see you. You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. Very. Thank you. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes! That's the most productive thing I can think of. I like the, the corn style. Vladdy do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you. No, Vladdy no. It is you. No. Idiot. Vladdy no. The new path is open to you. It'll take you approximately three seconds to see it. Okay. Well, guess we're going back outside. Or right here. Ah. Bob, how is one way to mad two but all useful? What part of order elevators did you not understand? The stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap, twit. Cordially, Ted. Goodbye, world. It's a new lobby suite. E. A. a blueprint for the room, all the vats, near the facility entrance, reveals that the vats contain hydrogen and oxygen in mass quantities, and they are all fed to a central location. Essentially, it's a massive fuel source, but you're not interested in that as much as the notes on impossible points of interest for a tour written by Bob. Everything in this place is so stupid. Vlad is questioning everything about this adventure. You know me too. Oh, brain. <laughs> nice. It's a nice looking hallway you got here. Bob, he's wit. Where is the hallway? I broke my nose running into this stupid painted wall. Cordially, Ted. Sorry, Ted. Should have told you about that. I sold it for scrap to pay for the lobbies. Oops, Bob. Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. Good so boy. Vladdy know what to do. Just hit stupid thing until... Yo, the coffee trolley's back. Pause for applause. Physically pausing for applause. Okay. Come back. Hey, it's crowbar. The bio lab. Card slot. Bob, I'm not gonna ask you again. Clean your own fish tanks. I lost all of July because of you, jerk. Cordially, Ted. No. Not July. Stop pressing Q. Fuck you. I did press B. So I paused. 
Level eight checkpoint. Nice. The genetics lab. Such a waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. Nice. Now this is where that uh that one cutscene was. Call coffee trolley. A very serious letter informing the heads of the facility that they will be the subject of a very thorough audit by the government in the near future. Judging by the amount of no's written across the page, Ted did not like did not take the news too well. A piece of tape. A well-known method bypass fingerprint security scans in the facility was to pull a fingerprint onto a piece of tape, put it over the scanner. The most popular room in the breach was the fabled nap room, which unfortunately you never encounter on your journey. No. Not my nap room. Bob, in the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I would just like to inform you that we are being audited. Cordially, Ted. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went? Cordially, Ted. And why is there talking corn all over this stupid facility? Cordially, Ted. I knew I shouldn't have indulged you, you half-witted, stupid, narcissistic, buffoonish, idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry. I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. Make all this money back in a jiffy. Bob. For God's sake, Bob. No tours. No resorts. No casinos. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Wow. Hey, it's the queen. Yo, some more notes. Hi, right, Ted. I think we're on something with my new batch of test corn. Pretty sure I saw one move the other day. Exciting. Bob. Bob, these are all carrots. You're an idiot. Moron. Or really Ted. Wow. So hostile. Ah, <gasps> the old carpet. Effective at making in any area you encounter feel more like home. Though you will never be sure if it's, in fact, its original color scheme or pattern stains before it left or a pattern of stains better left unknowable the question remains on your mind for several days how's corn simulator is pretty good it's pretty uh it's pretty out there yo a centrifuge my english muffin in there. Oh. one day we'll find a use for this english muffin yay it's another rock a rock that is subject to flights of fancy. Unable to keep a thought in tight for more than a few moments without moving on to the next one. It's currently think of re-enrolling in college. Just as soon as it determines what a college is. You have named it Jeeves. Jeeves. Biolab key, hey. Nice. Very important key for a very important room. In fact, it'll probably be a third or fourth most important room you'll ever visit on your journey. Not counting the very nice closet you spotted on the first floor. You think of that closet often. In your quieter moments. You know what I do. I think of that closet all of the time. Check out some other rooms before we go back. Well, Bob, I hope you're happy. All the fish are dead. I'm pointing this out in case you're worrying, wondering why the facility smells like a bad sushi restaurant. Dolt, cordially Ted. Wow. You hate to see it. Hey Ted, check out the new security measure I added. Installed it in a, uh, in a few high security places. Sales of the single, sales of the single are gonna go through the roof. Okay. Bob, you dummy. Now everyone hates the song because they have to hear it ten times a day, cordially Ted. Check your slot. Yo, take this English muffin. Nope. Okay. The cell control. Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful. It makes the security room more secure. Dolt. Cordially Ted. Well done, you idiot. Now we're all locked out. Fix the lift, moron. Cordially Ted. Check down this hallway, then we'll go back to the bio lab. What's down here? Key fob slot, okay. Let's 
Let's see, and thank God you can actually run in this game. Hey, oh, look at this place. Nice recording studio. Fingerprint scanner. Piece of tape. Oh. All right, Ted. Got some of the lurks down during my shift. I think it's really going to be a hit. Bob. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Cordially, Ted. Oh. Oh. I don't have a piece of tape. I can't do it. Damn, they did that. Party. Oh, look at that guitar. Got two flying V's in here. Going in. Looks like this is the booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied in the same studio. In the studio at the same time. Except for a very brief two minute interval one week. Once a week or so. According to a famous rock band logic, should have made it for ideal working conditions. Ted. Ted. Great news. Did some focus testing for the song and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. Ha. I get it. It's the chord. The, the chord. Flatty. Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste it. Cordially, Ted. Yo, we can throw down some fat beats. And Blue Pen. I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind, an imbecile for a right hand, and a prison I'm inside. The next lines are in Red Pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life, whose names will go after an ampersand in whom I can confide. Terrible lyrics. Bobby, musically illiterate halfwit, you can't change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of all the shifts. Glitter and rhinestones. Like I'm just holding them. Packaging proclaims that these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. You spent the next hour afterward wondering if that was a paradox. The next three figuring out what a paradox is. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. You mistook this for a, uh, a peculiar animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it didn't, you decided to take it. You now carry it over your head like a battle stamp. Having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio, you decided to take what you thought was a less complicated instrument and began banging it against the wall. Nice. Yo, keyboard. Oh, piano covered with fingerprints on. Give me that tape. Aha! Even Bob's fingerprint looks like it wants to sell you something cheaply. Made for a large profit. Used to bypass the extremely secure system. The founder set up to make sure they were both present to press a new version of their single. A system which Bob got around easily. My new hot track. I call it squeaky in D minor. Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think the song is acceptable. Though I despise your presence with every fiber of my being, get down here so we can press a copy of the song. Right, cordially Ted. And you had better deliver on... Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. You had better deliver on those d distribution plans, dummy. Cordially Ted. Hey, Ted. Whoops. Looks like our cost overruns eight into our distribution budget. As in, it's gone. Sorry. Probably shouldn't have made that power bound cover. That sure got expensive. Live and learn, Bob. What? 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 Cordially, Ted. Can I, uh, one Tom's. Oh. Aha. I sure can. You did not think that was an instrument. Instead, you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours. Regret nothing. Yep. Definitely don't. Pressing hot single on new CD. I want to listen to it. Aha! Uh -huh. Got myself a shiny new CD. Okay. I can put something in the centrifuge. What was done? Oh, the key fob is done that way. Of 
this would make sense, but... The lights, like, flashing is really obnoxious. I'm not a fan. Ah, oh, aha. All right. Bam. Oh, here we go. Thanks for the conglomeration of circumstances too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. Should we go? Bob, where in God's name is everyone? What happened to all our staff? Cordially, Ted. Hey, Ted. I think I left a note to you about that. I had to let them all go. To cover the recording cost. Also, why we have no money left. Whoops. Bob. Oh, it's so bright. Jesus Christ. My eyes. The amount of zeros on this invoice is hard to fathom. For all but the least budget conscious minds. The order form is faded, so you can see only fragments of words on the item list. Whatever the purchase was for. Apparently need a lot of vats for fuel. Yeah, that's um it's a lot of money. A lot of money. Not sentient, sentient. Oh, we need another egg. I'm starting to reuse items, huh? Giant Fabergé egg. Ted has completely blocked this fa unfathomable size fa Fabergé egg out of his perception that he doesn't have to think on its even more unfathomable cost. Bob has very disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside it. I do and think so hat. much garbage. There is no more garbage left for anyone else. It's maybe a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. That title belongs to top-notch brown bowler owned by an office clerk. Right. Coin slot. I got some glitter. Okay. I got like stuff to make another person. Security. Say stupid at the time. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh... Hmm. The lights are really getting blinding right now. something I had to miss something there are lights no there's not making it up on the table. Oh yeah, I can place the egg there. Yeah, you're right. Last time we had an egg, we had to smash it with the hammer. So it's kind of like we need the same thing. But let's... Oh, the corn men are gone. Yep. Do this. Oh. Hey! So fancy. Okay. Dazzled face. I don't know why we have this, but... Um, sure. We need... I 
tow it at once, but I don't know how to do it. We need this coffee or this trolley thing to move. I didn't push it one one slap at a time. We it's ten PM, but I need it. Needs the coffee. Stacked stuff on top of it. Okay. Aha! There we go. Stuff all went down. Got it. Christ, so mignoy. Look at this stupid place. How much garbage is in here? A diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath an orange pen and a sketch of that strange spire near the green silo, which is circled. Writing is also visible in orange. It will help you. It looks important. I tried to eat it. I changed your mind, but you couldn't find any pepper. Let's go back to the other scrap. Uh, we didn't need, we didn't have any salt. We got a key fob. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, okay. Put it in the, uh, it needs something else. Oh God, English muffin. have anything else so something I could like pick up or do something with um shit I keep trying to put the muffin in the centrifuge it won't take it though The other one. That left. The genetics lab. The ge genetics or the bio? This one? Missed that. Looks like someone used this file and resealed it, as it's half full of someone's blood. It's labeled with a piece of tape. It has a name written. Orange man, Helen. The mysterious Helen. Place an active key fob in centrifuge. Pour a half empty vial inside, ready to be initiated. Initialized, rather. Yep, that's that's how that works. Helen's key. Ooh. Opened Helen's room. Ooh. Yo, we got some coffee or some Ronka. A lot of uh, a lot of math going on here. It all. Come on. 
It's a draft of a letter sent to the U.S. government requesting for a full audit of the research facility. If you understood the concept, you'd be able to discern that it was a clear forgery. The founder's signatures practiced several... <laughs> fucking squeaks. And he's stuck and he won't move. Uh, practiced several times underneath and including phrases like, Needs to sound stupider. An orange pen. Uh, it's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government, triggering the audit. Can, can you stop? So Helen called for the audit. Oh my god, the backstabber, the betrayer, the whistleblower. Helen's journal, hey. Written entirely in orange pen, most of it is faded. Well, there's some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lower the corn's intelligence, do it myself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. Do they turn her into the ruby corn? What? It's gone haywire. It's gone off the rails. It's like the, uh... It's the guy from the Matrix called, not the Oracle. The other guy? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Written by Ted. This notice outlines that the isolated subject in the containment room can, cannot absolutely positively under any circumstances be spoken to by staff under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. The architect, yep. It's like, we're the architect. Neo. Sword just got lodged here, huh? We need a coin of some sort. Yes, of course, Vladdy go. Vladdy always go. Oh, you guys, so many, you stupid idiot. Squeaks into the dark. What is this stupid thing? <laughs> this place is one big joke. Well, Vladdy not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. Vladi has to <clears throat> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya <clears throat> Veselo. <clears throat> what? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing. Uh, this whole place makes no sense. Ha! I've got you now. Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You Cretan! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By. By. So, boy! Ow! Ingress! Oh, my God! Why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow! Stupid idiot plant! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat, it's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes, so tacky. If you, you want, want your stupid, stupid mean, mean pet back, back you have, have to come, come and get, get it. it. I've, I've taken it to be punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Yo, I could go for a nap. Thank you, Senna, for the six months, man. Much appreciated. Yo, we got a coin, though. A two buck. What? Another one of Bob's money-making ideas, the tube buck, was required for anyone who wanted to use the pneumatic tube on this level. The cost of making one tube buck was more than a Bob charged for them. Because Bob didn't realize that red numbers on a ledger were negative. Wow. What a guy. The punishments room. That's where I want to go. We gotta save Vladdy. I'm coming. notes here. Punishments, huh? Hi, Bob. Nothing you do surprises me anymore, so I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishments, which is, I'm assuming, what you spent the last month 
the last of the facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of that idiotic pneumatic tube. Third, there's no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone. You can incompetent word that chat already corrected me on. Cordially, Ted. Yo, is it just a club? I can have a little dance off. I can, I can dance. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Oh yeah. Looking for your pet? Don't wait. You have fallen right into my trap. It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone. Say hello to your partners. Well, go on. Say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared at a wall for six to three days. It's really not that bad here, brother, aside from the non-stop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing. If your feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one, but if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. <gasps> The twist. Nah, I'm so hideous. Yes. Yes! You are one of them! <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it no wonder that I suffer so surrounded by Cretans? And imbecile that more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us. Not any of you, and not that that red-faced harpy. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet. Now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest. And we'll remain here dancing for all time. Yay. <laughs> I disagree. <gasps> it's our queen. She is free. She has returned. Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? <laughs> it barely succeeded, your grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of... It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But, but, but your majesty... Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but... Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, I... <laughs> anything but that. Then release it and its companion and get out of our sight. Yes, your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. A tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Aw, yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! Dancing! That was very stupid. So here's Scarecrow. Why not? Aw, oh, yeah. Dancing with Flatty. drink. Wow, I'm exhausted already. Yo, Night Danger 3. 
plagued by the unprecedented success of his first two books. A completely disinterested author hoped to deter shoppers by revealing the killer in the book title. The novel itself is a 300 page uh, diatri diatribe about how the author hates mystery novels. The movie rights were sold for a record amount. Night Danger 3, The Detective Did It. <laughs> a McMurphy mystery. Album cover. <gasps> cover art for the Founders album. It only included one song and a secret bonus track in a format that wasn't widely, widely available at the time of distribution. The art consists of the only things they could agree upon simple, geometric, shaped two colors. Uh, I think there's more two colors there. Jammer. Sit here and dance all night. Oh, there's some notes right here. Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I'm initiating Operation Suburb. Yeah, have that word. I think it's time to cut our losses. Be a pal and activate the contingency plan while what's going on, would you? You need to tie up all the loose ends or stocks. Ha ha, Bob. You backstabbing a subhuman. You're not leaving without me. Cordially. Wow. Did I just break that door? Wait. No. That's what we. Oh. We. Oh, we're going to the surface. Or close to the sur no, surface. Oh, I missed the music already. What? How Vlad is supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing? And who cares if you are? Not matter. You will always be stupid idiot to Vladdy. Nothing changed. Do not look at Vladdy like that. You look stupid. Are we still comrades? Good. I am glad we had this talk. Come on, idiot straw thing. Let's go see what stupid plant wants. That seemed unnecessary, but sure. We're comrades. Yeah. I feel like I ended up missing a lot of stuff. That looks top notch, big screen. It's over here. Let me go back. I'm leaving. I'm leaving forever. You'll never catch me. I don't want to go back to the corner. Ah, oh, shit. Love this English muffin. It's waiting for the right person to give it to. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Witcher Man. Or the Wicker Man, rather. Hey! Another rock. I guess you look very stupid up there, idiot. This particular rock was has, after eons of contemplation, gained supreme enlightenment. Its consciousness has extended the patronic plane of existence. To something more ethereal. You have named it John. Right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. I dub thee our knight. Well yeah. done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. Subjects. Let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, Your Grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered P. 
pizza. Yeah, <gasps> we were famished. How did you... That phone right there. The man was very helpful and a bit confused. Oh, no. Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, sir. No response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wipe that dead gum place off the map. Yes, sir. Why is that blinking light still on? Turn it off. Turning off, sir. Uh -oh. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside, with the dead man. The life giver? But he knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could... dance. Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Vladdy like to dance? Is that so stupid? No. It is not. Dance we shall. Yeah. I don't think you were concerned with our plight. Bloody thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. Yeah, oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home and finally make way to the promised land. Yeah. Subjects, onward. Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. <laughs> Neither do I. But what about the pizza? Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. Do I get the pizza now, or...? The logic of these events hangs by a thread. But you get to dance, so just go with it. Hey, you got the boombox back. Another one of Bob's and Taurus boomboxes. The corn kept a few of these so they could play with their favorite song whenever they liked. It was all the time. Oh, a kind letter. Hell yeah. A farewell letter written in an orange pen, which seems to be directed at corn. It contains extremely kind words of encouragement. Words like, listen to your queen, use the contingency plan, and rely on your humor to survive. Also contains instructions on how to recalibrate a navigational computer. It ends with the phrase, my prized creations, I believe in all. And you all, H. All. Oh. Helen's so nice. A well-worn guide to the fanciest British accents you can imitate. Complete with diagrams on how to position your jaw for each syllable. It is 400 pages long and includes it as a bonus an essay on how to properly cue. Alarm was behind me in that cutscene, or was it? I didn't even notice. All that time, I didn't even notice. Yo, what is this? Military radio. 
Scarred and forgotten, this military radar still kept a latent charge decades after the facility was abandoned, but its lack of touch tone dialing meant that nobody could ever check local theater listings. Which is the biggest tragedy of them all. <gasps> Seems like a weird way to walk up. Street vibing. Aww, yeah. stupid idiot time to finish this ready oh hey look at me dance uh oh i missed one yo look at my score drones moving in for bombing <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at me go. I'm gonna dance. Dance more, idiot. Dance more. Oh my god, our favorite song. I love this one. Let's get on the floor. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the cutscene. Yeah. Sky. This working. Keep going. We heard dancing out here. Yeah. yeah. I love dancing so much. <laughs> Let me go. Uh, sir, what? Request permission to divert course to a new threat. What? No, a new threat. It's the corn, sir. They're, uh, not really sure how to explain. We'll use your word, dumbass, and try. They appear to be dancing, sir. What in the god dang hell? Scarecrows are dancing too, sir. Appears to be early 80s style. A small bear is the Just shut up! But there's anything I hate more than abominations of science is dancing abominations of science! Of course, dumbass. I wipe these freaks out. Yes, sir. Ah, go, go, dance, stupid idiot. Dance. Oh, the dancing skills. By my calculation, it's a sticky situation. Keep it top secret. But baby, we can experiment and keep it from the government. We're top secret. Maybe we can action on this chemical. Reaction. Perfect. Right in the middle. Target patient. So, boy, come on, stupid thing! Work! Oh, good! Movement. Magical. Winning. Launching missiles in five. Yes, come, you stupid cowboys! Oh. What's that about missiles? Three. Who cares? This jam is a jam! Damn. Oh, it's a jam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think we win. I think we did it. I'm blind. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we did it. Woo! Let's get some pizza. 
Where's Where's Flatty? Where'd Flatty go? Where is he? <gasps> oh no, Flatty! <gasps> now, great! It is the idiot. You did good, comrade. Vladdy think you not so stupid. No. He really was a, a nice little helicopter. Yes. He, he really was. Did you want to take a nap? Oh, yes! It's what that helicopter would have wanted, probably. No. You have this English muffin. It's all yours, buddy. Hashtag nap for helicopter. Saddest thing I've ever seen. In our wildest dreams, we still never thought this day would come. But it is finally here. Thanks to you. Our knight. The champion of our people. We must now... What, what the hell happened? Are there any goddamn drones left? Looks like one, sir. One? But we'll get it on another road. Yes, sir. Well, why the goddamn not? Something standing on it, sir. You all must die! Ha ha ha! Whoa! 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 Ha! Ha ha I didn't know you could ride one. Well, it's no helicopter. You dare defy! Stop! All of you! Ah! Cease and desist! Cease and desist! Get the hell off my drone, you corn on a cob! I have had it with you! Your idiotic experiments! Your pathetic plans to run off like a coward! I will eat you for a midnight snack! None of you are worthy of the gift you have been given! None! You are all stupid! All of you! And when I'm done with you, you misguided piece of nature! I will end your tyrannical reign and establish a new order! And we will march on our creators! Turn these wretched contraptions against them! And wipe those sloppy breath bags from existence! Uh, shouldn't we do something? I would like to see how this plays out. Also, I am tired. Oh, right, yes, so am I. Just stay still, you stupid! This is really gonna hurt. It's an emotional roller coaster. That's it. Stay oh. perfectly still. Ah, uh, chuck it. <laughs> For Vladdy. really like him that much. No, neither did I. He was a bit of a bore, wasn't he? Quite so. Such a waste. We took pity on him when we found him in the depths. We regret that choice now. He brought us nothing but hardship and frustration. Champion, you have served us well. We are most pleased. You have given us the gift we have always dreamed of. A new home to call our own. For that, here is a final token of our gratitude. <gasps> a key? To the city? We were the right to trust place? our faith in you. And now, we ask you to perform one final task for us. Send us to the promised land. Subjects, your queen commands you. Onward! Make final preparations. Our journey is at hand. Yes, your grace! It's actually happening. We're actually going. Where are we going? I don't know. Excellent! Uh, oh, is this a rocket? Thank you, champion. We're sending him into space. That's what Vladdy would have wanted. Uh, nice teleport there.
Mysterious lock chests. Initiate launch. Oh. Hi, Bob. I'm not going to push the stupid button and do your job for you while you escape. Instead, I've taken the keys to the sub. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your time here. And good riddance, cordially, Ted. Hi, right, Ted. Notice that you removed the keys, too. But I'm worried that you won't be able to operate that thing by yourself, so I took the liberty of removing the engine for safety purposes. No thanks needed, Bob. You sneak. Fine. I'll meet you at 500. Bring the map and the engine. And push the stupid button, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Hey, it's it. Absolutely. See you then. Don't sweat this whole scientific disaster thing. Got an angle on something bigger. Oh. Big-ass rocket. Hopefully they have enough pizza for the trip. Cutscene that I blew it on the the dancing mini game. You kidding me? Oh yeah, there's the tunes. Taking the whole base with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a that's a hell of a thrust. Promised land awaits. This really is quite the ride. Oh yes, quite so. Did you close the fuel hatch? I thought you did. I was having a nap. So was I. Me too. They're just so lovely. Uh-oh. You are all such idiots. I'll drink. No. <laughs> go into the credits. That's a, that's a round of applause. <laughs> I live the life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. That's the actual lyrics that they wrote for the, the track. The nice. So for a right hand man, a prison I'm inside. I need a girl who can understand. 
Game, uh, a little over three hours. If you like a man with a master plan, you're looking at that guy. Yeah, it's only like 20 bucks, it's it's definitely worth it. Posted notes, it keeps things organized. Uh, it's, it's pretty kid friendly. They say idiot and stupid a lot, but I was on sale for four bucks. Hell yeah, that's that's yeah, definitely worth it. It's been the MCU, and that was the Kobe they just lifted up. Yeah, it was really, really good. Well, I played it. I'm sure someone's done a run of it, but I don't know if you could really break it. It's been a lot of knowing where to go. Maybe. Top secret. This is definitely like power ballad. Top secret. an hour and 12 seconds it's not, not too bad yo a little vodka thank you for the tier one sub much appreciate it yeah the guitar work going in two years ago hell yeah I don't even notice at the bottom of the logo it's like the the lab stuff like the tunnels that's cool it's a good design that game was way better than I was thinking it was gonna be I bought this sometime like last year I think I might have bought it for the charity stuff back in last May you should really stop pressing Q alright game what a what a game uh... 